Don't. Shut, F, shut the fuck up. Start the podcast. Welcome to episode number seven of the one podcast to eventually rule them all. This is a podcast about a group of friends getting together and giving their opinions and talking about video games, the world of professional wrestling, card games, anime, and anything else that might tickle their fancy. And of course, I am joined today by the Twitch superstar streamer himself, Jake. I thought you were going to say Cody. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's up? My name is Jacob, or Friendly on the internet. I stream over on twitch.tv forward slash Friendly Plays X over on YouTube. I post videos sometimes at Friendly Plays, and I'm on Twitter at Friendly Plays. Wow. And introducing next, he is Mr. Hot Take himself. <laughs> he is Cody. <laughs> what a Wow. Intro. That is the, like, fuck it, whatever. I, I'm Cody. <laughs> Uh, Gingerbeard Man Gamer on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube. Uh, going back to magic. That's that's my money maker there. So we're just gonna go back to doing that. Rub that lamp. I have one question but, before you introduce the next person, Snow. You don't even know which person I'm gonna apparently, introduce. No, that's apparently, fine. hated by all that is on this podcast. Cody, Cody, yo. When you were growing up and before this podcast started, did you ever expect to be the one with the bad opinions? Uh, I mean, I've been in this friend group for a while, <laughs> so, um, according to y'all, I always have the bad opinions, so, perfect, Cause, perfect. all right, because I want to remember, I want you to remind the rest of you, back, like, three or four years ago, I was like, y'all need to watch out for the Jazz, <laughs> literally, they're going to be a playoff team, and y'all are like, ha! yeah, fucking right, boy, and I was like, okay, just watch them, and look what happened, you go they're in the playoffs, the entire fucking <laughs> literally, suspended? literally not what you said i yeah, did said, never said, did I, you guys are the ones that were like they're never making it to the finals i no. never said finals i said they are you, a playoff team no you didn't you yes i did as were the best team in the literally, NBA. that to me they always are but I'm okay. I, am, I am done i am done with this conversation <laughs> anyway and next he is my only friend in the world the indiana gentleman himself <laughs> devin bliss <laughs> I, I'd like to thank my best friend for asking me to be on this podcast with him. Thank You're you, welcome. Beast Snow. Here we are. Imagine it's a cool fall day. Christmas is on the horizon. Imagine I'm just gonna you're, fuck myself. You're sitting there. You're missing you're missing your one and only best friend, the greatest friend of all time, Beast Snow, and you just remember that today is the last episode of Supernatural and you get very emotional. I'm Devin. And his opponent, coming back <laughs> from the dead, he also signed a contract. So, we welcome him back. His name is Caleb. Why did I come back to this? Hey, before <laughs> Caleb did this, date on two episodes and called it a day. <laughs> Same. I'm Caleb. You can follow me on Twitter at CalebSXE44, and that's all I got. Undertaker's last appearance is... Sunday. That's Survivor Theory. Thank God. And I am the Beast Snow. What are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about some next gen. Supernatural. We might talk about some supernatural. We're going to talk about Spoiler. some universes that we might like to, uh, you know, be living in. We might talk about the addictiveness or maybe the addictiveness of video games. And uh, maybe we'll talk about Pokemon because that's probably what Devin's going to talk about. But first... It will be brought up, I promise. I have a new segment that I want to bring to this podcast. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. And it's called, Do You Know a uh, Top Turta? Okay. okay. So I've got two decks here. No, it's not magic. Put your chub down. Um, <laughs> this one is a Would You Rather, all right? Okay. okay. So I'm going to flip it over. Ooh. Would you rather blow your nose with sandpaper or use bubble wrap instead of toilet paper? Oh, bubble, wrap. Bubble, wrap. bubble wrap. Yeah, it's probably definitely bubble wrap. A unanimous decision. So you're just well, using like the little squares, right? 
I mean, yeah, if you want. You're just getting like little. You're gonna have shit all over your hand with the the sandpaper. Listen, so with the sandpaper, you don't necessarily have to put your nose on said sandpaper. You can no. just like hold it like an inch away and blow. You wore it. Wow, he's a thinker. Why? Why would you only have to use a little square of bubble wrap? Why couldn't you use it like as fucking toilet paper? Right. Yo, I'll be a hundred percent honest with y'all. When we said bubble wrap, I thought he meant like bubble gum wrappers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to move on. Next question. So, unanimous decision for bubble wrap as toilet paper. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be fun to all right. while wiping. And the other is a what the heck question. What okay. would be the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? The fuck is that? <laughs> um, the creepiest thing? Something that would creep somebody out. I am I'm going to fuck you right now. <laughs> In this day and age, I don't think it'd be all that creepy right now. Are you allergic sure, to chloroform? You Are you allergic to chloroform? <laughs> <clears throat> Can I massage your cock? <laughs> Damn, girl, you shit with that ass? That's not creepy, that's just funny. See, I... I <laughs> I think it would be something like, I'd like to wear that face or something along those lines. Oh, places. fuck. Can I wear your skin as a suit? Right. Like, your Ooh, skin looks one. soft. That's Can I wear one. it? I think I think Cody wins. Yeah, I think Cody wins that one. But mine would be the dogs are in the enclosed pool area. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? If you don't get it, then that's on you. Anywho, <laughs> on to our... I, I, I do get it. Unfortunately, I do. <laughs> on to our next topic. Okay. First topic of the um, day. Okay. First topic of the episode. Cody. Oh, honestly, yeah. honestly amazing. Honestly. Honestly amazing. Let us hear why you do not like cover songs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please. For a little backstory. Cody does not like cover songs unless they are basically the same as the original. No, 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 no. Hold on. It has to be the exact same song. That's not what I said. said. I said they can be different as long as it still makes sense. And what started this is I started playing guitar again and I started playing Wish You Were Here. And I looked up like who all did different versions of that. There's Ninja Sex Party, did an amazing version. Miley Cyrus did a pretty okay version. Then you get to Avenged Sevenfold and it's not great. It doesn't sound like the same song at all. And it doesn't even sound like an Avenged Sevenfold song. So it's a Pink I, Floyd I, song. That's why. Right. But like when you look at like how Jacob was saying, where it's like Sound of Silence, they made it sound like them, but still that song. Avenged Sound Sevenfold sounds- didn't do either. <clears throat> Have you ever heard the band Our Last Night? They're famous for fucking cover songs. Right. And that's fine. You can I do think, covers. I think, I think Cody, I think everybody's misrepresenting what Cody means. I, I oh, think now Jacob's. I oh, think now we is. In this sense, because in somebody this has sense, reasoning and understanding. He's saying <laughs> I doubt that. He doesn't dislike cover songs. He dislikes bad cover songs. And yeah. The, the oh, no. version of that song. He did everybody, not say that. Everybody dislikes bad cover songs. What the but, fuck? And nobody but, likes a bad song. <laughs> but to me, the stuff like The Blank Goes are mostly bad cover songs. Yeah, I disagree with that. I fuck off there. But well, the only reason that I think that, though, and I think it's more of just a mindset thing because I hate, like, I hate the fact that they feel the need to do that because there are people that are out there that are quote unquote metalheads that are like, oh, I can't listen to Billie Eilish. I can't listen to Britney Spears. Why the fuck not? It's 2020. Let's let's get rid of the uh, hell. It's pop. I can't listen to it because I listen to hard rock. No. Well, you would think that, but there are still tons of people that think that. The thing is, if I'm listening to a pop song, like let's take for example, In Sync's "Bye Bye Bye." It just comes out, you know, sounds great. I'm like, I wonder what it would sound like being, you know, heavy metal, screamo. Yeah. Have you ever listened or even jazz? The metal, the metal version of Phantom of the Opera. Nope. It's amazing. Fucking amazing, Cody. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I, I listen I, to hard rock. I don't listen to that pop crap. Uh, uh. 
But that's where it came from, though. They did that stuff because they I felt the need so. to do that. I think that they did it just to show what different genres would do with songs. Like, the Taylor Maybe. Swift, with the, I, prevailed, I Prevailed did a cover of Taylor Swift. I don't remember. I think it's Blank Space. Yeah, Blank Space. I, and that I was don't, fine. I don't listen to... It was on Pop Goes Punk. Yeah. I don't listen to Taylor Swift. I don't care for Taylor Swift music. But I fucking got down with the I Prevails version. And Adele, Adele does a cover song called... Uh... If it hadn't been for love, fucking way better than the original version. Oh yeah, and some covers can be better than the original. Like I'm not saying that you can't change it up and still be good. I just think there are a lot of bad covers. There's a lot of songs that I play on my Spotify at work, and I'm like, oh shit, like this song is really good. And I go to YouTube it, not even realizing that it was a freaking cover, right? Pretty Which good. I'm like, know, all right, cool. Like, fact? yeah. You know the you know my the song I came out to O Death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a cover. It yeah, is certainly a cover. And like I'll fully admit, when I first heard jo- uh, Johnny Cash sing "Hurt," I didn't know it was a cover until I started looking into it. Told you. But that was also twelve years ago. But I mean, still, there I are. I just learned that that wasn't his song. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. Well, that's okay because the way that I figured it out is I posted "Man, I Love Hurt" by Johnny Cash, such an awesome original song, and someone's like, "You fucking realize Nine Inch Nails did that, right?" And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, totally, dude. What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, right. and I was in the group chat. <laughs> like, yeah, I was busy. But <clears throat> yeah, so like, there are covers that can be done better, and like I was talking about, my biggest example for that is "Behind Blue Eyes." I think the way that Limp Bizkit did it still captures what the song is but in my opinion it's a little bit better because there's not that like feels like an hour-long guitar solo that kind of just gets in the way of what the song is supposed to me feel like and it's all interpretation music's interpretation so i i mean i do miley cyrus is crushing these rock covers dude she is like i listened to her version of wish you were here and i was like all right i like it i'm down with it miley cyrus is in an amazing is an amazing musician and i think she did zombies not too long ago too yeah that was pretty good too yeah that was amazing like and it was live too yep and you know she's doing good she's making a good name for herself again but i just yeah all time lows umbrella what about that one that's the only version of umbrella that i can listen to what what about uh damn hold on Uh, do you like rihanna's version of umbrella no i hate it what the fuck is wrong with you cody it's annoying it's annoying. I big disagree. I agreed with you at the start of this conversation, but I disagree a lot more. I can't switch it now. It's already on air. <laughs> so is everything you've been saying. What about Silver? What, what about Silverstein? What they do? Apologize. Yeah, I said apologize was one of the few that I can or, remember off the top uh, of my head. A data remembers version of uh, since still fly. Gone. Yeah, still fly. Oh was, god. Corey yeah. yeah. Taylor. Corey pop- Taylor did Rainbow in the Dark. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that one. I never. Corey Taylor, Taylor did outshined. He did, showed it. I was about to say that. <laughs> well, and like the Pop Goes Frunk one, that one was just funny to me. So I liked a majority of the songs on that one, except for whatever one they did. I the remember did the Cable Car that Frey song, and then the Devil Wears oh, Prada. Oh yeah, yeah. Did, Devil Wears uh, Prada did uh, Joe Fly. Chris Cornell Over did my a head. Prince, did a Prince song. He also did a Magic. What it's called. Even anyway, even the, the worst band in the world did a good cover. What band? Al's Anus. <laughs> I, 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 I 100% thought you were going to say Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty fucking terrible. But Al's trying to get a good, I, um, what's it? It was the Justin, the Justin Timberlake song. song. Yeah. It's the only good song they ever wrote. That's not true. <laughs> and they didn't even write it. Ah! <laughs> But yeah, I don't dislike all covers. I do think some covers are good. I just don't like bad has, covers. It, they just have to be the same exact song with the no, same pitch don't. and melody and key. No. About I mean, goes Disney. To... That's a thing. Oh my god, Cody. But I mean, I haven't followed Pop Goes since or Punk Goes for I don't know. I don't even think they make them anymore. Yeah, it's been sure. a long time. I will tell you that. Because most <laughs> artists these days are just putting singles out on YouTube because they make more money that way than. Yeah, album. Cause... Hey, while while we're on the subject of music, I listened to Corey Taylor's solo album. Okay, I listened to it a few, I don't know, a month, whenever it came out. And CMFP? I was like, I don't really, yes. And I was like, I don't really like this. And then I listened to it again today all the way through. And I was just like, this shit is fucking amazing. 
why didn't I like it the first time? Now right. I love it. It's enjoyable. Speaking of that, um, uh, MGK's pop out or punk album. <laughs> Awesome. Like, good. That album, when I first listened to it, I was like, all right, it's okay. I literally can't stop listening to it. There are Dude, so many so good songs on there. Good. Like, mm. Forget You with Halsey. Oh, I play that song on fucking repeat. Yeah, dude. but how much is that that you just like Halsey? No, dude, honestly. Dude, honestly, that's, honestly. that whole song is just good. And then the one he did with Black Bear, Devin, that was really good. Devin knows I'm a big MGK Mark. Are you? Do we agree oh, that am. he makes better punk music than he did rap? Fuck yeah, he does. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, he does. He's not allowed I to step back into rap anymore. <laughs> that's I haven't I haven't listened to any of his new stuff because I didn't like any of his rap music. So right, Cody. I just yep. haven't done it. Still disagree with you there because <laughs> I know. what's poppin' remix is a fucking banger. Yeah, I know, but and the song he did against M- Eminem wasn't bad. No, it wasn't. Just Eminem. Eminem beat murdered him. him. Eminem beat him, but he didn't murder yeah. him because he's still out here making more music. Right. Oh, Eminem killed his Genres. rap career. <laughs> he uh. got into a different rap. genre. He still raps, though. <laughs> like, he's st- that What's Poppin' remix just came out, like, a month ago. I do like What's Poppin'. Any versions. Songs My favorite songs by him are the ones with Youngblood, though. Yeah, I love Youngblood. So I didn't expect good. to like Youngblood. I didn't either. I, so I, looked, looked. I looked him up, and I was like, all right, who's this young blood? And I started listening to a bunch of his songs. I was like, I can get behind you, dude. Yeah. That, that's how I am with uh, Post Malone. I was like, this dude looks goofy as fuck. And then I heard Sunflower and I was like, oh, Take okay. Out, <laughs> right up window. <laughs> you don't like hey, Post Malone? I Chris hate Caleb? Post Malone. Why? The worst. Look at him first. I don't give a shit. You, you cannot dude. listen to Sunflower and say that that song Horrible. is terrible. I'm not a big fan of Post Malone because I have to hear it every five minutes at Kroger. Right. Is it Sunflower? No, it's... Oh, well, then I don't care. The other one. But as soon as I heard him on Spider-Verse, I listened to that song with a like lot. four or five of Post Malone songs, and that's... Yeah, I think that's probably where I'm at, too. Joiner Lucas, however, I love I listening to him. I love Joyner Lucas. It's just, Post Malone is just another identity for Tony Sheets. Jesus okay, man. overall, big, big win for <laughs> cover songs. Look, he's gonna get his thirty accounts and come fucking stream snipe us or something Bro, now. Stop Thanks, Caleb. talking shit about my friend Tony Sheets. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm the only one that likes Tony Sheets around when, here. So when's no, the last time not. either of you have talked to him? Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Don't fucking come in here with that shit. All right, we're done with Cody. We're done with Cody. Let, let <laughs> Cody. <laughs> let Cody live. He DM'd everybody on Facebook. Let's go to Caleb, who uh, likes to put ketchup on everything. Oh, no, that's fucking disgusting. Defend oh yourself. God. What is? Oh, wait, episode? hold on. This should turn into a shit post podcast. I thought we were actually talking about topics here. Oh no, this is a topic. Let's, let's, let's no keep going. I like this. I don't want to defend defend myself. defend yourself because you put ketchup on everything. Oh, so every I get single to be put meat. on the grill for my music choices. I don't know what there is to defend about that. Like ketchup goes on. You maybe dip it a, a French fry in it, but what yeah. else? Nah. <laughs> maybe hamburgers. I was no. gonna say barbecue no. sauce. No. No, you fucking put barbecue sauce on a hamburger if Truth. you're gonna no, put a fucking agree. sauce like that. Truth. Oh my God. Maybe maybe a hot dog, but that's no. Still don't put. A... I I no, but I don't even fuck with it on hot dogs. So hold on, you when you say everything, what do you mean everything? Steak, he chicken, on fucking ham. We, okay, fucking Jacob. We yeah. went to Texas Roadhouse with him in the middle of a pandemic, <laughs> <laughs> and he he took scissors out of his pocket, cut the plastic top. Off of a bottle of ketchup and poured it all on his steak, <laughs> and then he poured it. About? Then, then he poured it all over his son's fried chicken and ate that with ketchup too. <sighs> I, I do recall that happening actually. So I mean, so does fucking... the defendant have a rebuttal? <laughs> I'm just gonna stay quiet. <laughs> there's there's nothing to argue. It's gross. I like what I like. You like what you like. All right. Oh, but that doesn't apply to music, I guess. Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cody, you're not cool. on the burner anymore. Calm down. Jeez. No, I just, want to, I just want to make sure what the parameters are here. Yes. Cody, you're wrong. We're right. That's the problem. Okay. You <laughs> help so... Caleb's wrong, and we're right. You help fight the good fight when you can, okay? Okay, that's fair. Just call me when you need me. I'll be on call. So overall, Ketchup is the uh, biggest loser. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I don't even I like don't ketchup know. on French fries. I I don't like ketchup. Nah, I don't <laughs> ketchup know. It sucks. It's not good. It's not good. Fucking I... sugar, salt, and tomato. Like, fuck. 
Ketchup's one of those things. If I can taste it, then we're we're not good. And fucking vinegar. <laughs> I fuck with. I, I, I can I fuck can, with some vinegar. Yes. I'm talking about no. I'm talking about in your ingredients: the sugar, oh. salt, oh, vinegar, yeah, and yeah. tomato. You, speaking of vinegar, I fucking I really do like vinegar. You know, mm-hmm. you get that feeling down there in your in your uh, your in glands your, down there in your inner. It's just good. And this is the last episode of the podcast. All right. Overall, big win for everybody but Cody and Caleb. So moving on. Caleb asked a question earlier. um, What universe would you want to live in? (coughs) Take it away. Pokemon. (laughs) It's the Pokemon universe, of course. Elaborate. Why? Well, I would like to have Pokemon. Would you train? Would you? I would have Pokemon. Okay. I would. Jacob, what about you? Ah! Ah! It's not in Naruto, and if I'm in fucking Naruto, I might die. So I gotta go with Pokemon. (laughs) Uh, what universe would I like to be in? Probably Pokemon. Really? Hell yeah! You want some fucking Pokemon? I I had Jacob's answer in my head, and he didn't say it. I was also thinking Velen. In The Witcher Three, but why, I would probably why die the fuck, there. Yeah, why would you? No, you've got to think about this practically. What? Right. What place would bring you mo- the most happiness? It'd probably be Pokemon. Yeah. Why okay, would it yeah. not be? I really expected you to say Harry Potter. Oh shit! Fuck! I thought we were talking about video games. No, it video games, movies, TV, etc. Like oh shit! So do I say, do I, uh, fuck! I have a question now. Do I get <laughs> to pick whether or not I'm a wizard? Yeah. Okay, you can get to like live in any universe you want. What are what are the parameters, though? I would like to be a wizard in Harry Potter over Pokemon. Then, yeah. What is the uh, what is the guidelines? But here? also, I don't know about that because I still got to deal with taxes and shit in Harry Potter. <laughs> there, there's really no guidelines. Like, if you could choose to live in a universe, you can be a dropout would, Pokemon. Would be the coolest thing. Like, it pro- the coolest thing would be Harry Potter because. Then I'd be Harry Potter, but like. But what? But what if you could be Iron Man? No, they the uh, no. <laughs> I'm cool <on> that. <laughs> Why not, bro? If we thought we died too much at Velen or fucking <laughs> or Naruto, <laughs> imagine being a superhero, getting the shit beat out you every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't say supernatural. <laughs> well, come on, we already live there, right? Cody, what about you? I'm thinking. Go to snow. Snow, what are you thinking? So, I got a multiple answers, though. <laughs> I would choose Harry Potter land. Okay, I expected that. Because I would be able to use magic. But, if I'm able to have a lightsaber, I'd take Star Wars. Yep. Oh, true. Ah, but, but, if I get to be friends with Sam and Dean, I'd choose Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> See, my overall thought was Star Wars because if I could be a Jedi and or Sith, like, oh, that'd be amazing. Be able you, to use uh, force. First, firstly, if you could be a Jedi or Sith, we literally all know you can't control your emotions. <laughs> you be a Sith. Yeah, absolutely. You That's would be a you, you would be a dangerous menace. You would be worse than Anakin. That's not yeah. true. I feel like I, I would okay. be he would he would somewhere be worse around than... Anakin. He would not be worse than Anakin. I don't know. He would be, be better, close. But he wouldn't be worse. I wouldn't murder children. I mean, no. you get angry oh. enough, you might. I doubt it. You broke a TV over Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts That's not. Hard, how does that go from murdering children? Anger. It's a children's I... game. <laughs> it's, it's not a children's game. It's made by Disney. It's not made by Disney. Yeah, well, I mean, they made by Square Enix. Right, but Disney has a hand in all of it. Final Fantasy is a uh, children's game. Confirmed. Disney has, like, a hand in everything, so. <laughs> Disney yeah, owns true. the world. It does. Disney's, Disney's got their hand on everybody's world. dicks. All right, I gotta, well, go, Freddy, back to, I gotta go back to Snow's question or answer real quick. Let's hear it. Why would you want to be friends with Sam and Dean? All of their friends die. That's that's what I was going to ask, but I'm not far enough into the series. Well, See, I mean, come on. Wait. Okay, you know, um, just just keep watching. Okay, that's all, all I right. gotta say. <laughs> all right. I uh, if I was friends with Sam and Dean, I would end up either like Joe or Ash. I'm sure. So <laughs> poor Joe. Poor <laughs> Ash. Is, Fucking... Ash. is Ash the computer geek? Dude? I mean, yeah. poor poor yeah. Joe. Definitely. Jeff 
Mm. Joe's. Mm, I love her. Joe hurt me deep. <laughs> Dead <laughs> Joe cut. Bro. Joe 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 definitely cut me. Joe's hurt me deep. I just started. Re- I started rewatch a couple months ago, and I watched that. I got to that scene, and I still cry. <clears throat> I tried. My... I I tried to summon some hellhounds in real I'm life not... just so I could fucking fight him. That's how upset I was. <laughs> All right, well, I'm My wife is literally watching Supernatural. Cody, not you still have no idea. Any of this. You still have no idea what happens, Cody. You're fine. I, that's good. Cody's good. never going to finish, so he's not even going to get to that part. He's still on the clown part. <laughs> yeah, no. he's, he's in I'm season two season still. Two. What did you say, Cody? I'm almost done with season two. Okay. So, Cody, so Cody what, what's your world? So, I think the world that I would pick is probably the D D universe Ooh, the so main cool. reason is because like you can literally pick whatever you want to be and you will never not have adventures you can't be cool yeah you can no you can't <laughs> wow Damn, that's fucked up, bro. see i really expected cody to say uh the world of magic so I thought about that, but like, unless you're a planeswalker, you're fucked, and even if you are, more is going to fuck you up. Well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you'd be a planeswalker. Oh, Devin's passing that's away. A, that's amazing. That was funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> tell it's funny to us out. Get out of here with your gatekeeping shit. Damn. I laugh so I'm I gatekeeping. Edit. You don't let people cover songs. I didn't say they couldn't. I just said I'm not going to In different genres. And what? Different genres. Oh, I never said that. I just said I don't like them. Fucking magic players. So D and D continue. Yeah, well, like I don't know. Your world's always going to be changing. You get to travel off to other things. You can literally create whatever the hell you want to be. You can go find an adventuring party, kill them, and find another one. Uh, you can do whatever the hell you want. Possibilities are endless. Imagine, but. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you just live in the Pokemon world? You can do all the same things. You can uh, drop out of school when you're 10. The you Pokemon get... world vastly limits what you can do as a human, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And no, also... what? no, it doesn't. You can Compa- literally do anything you want with the help no. of your companions. No, Cody's. what Cody's saying is like he would be like a ranger and he could just go hide in the tree and shoot people with bows all day. You can't do right. that in Pokemon. Or I could be you a can. druid yeah. and turn into a fucking tree. You can do that. You can do all these things in Pokemon with no, you Pokemon. Can. But you have to have Pokemon. When have you ever you? been able to pull out a bow and arrow and shoot somebody <laughs> in the face in Pokemon? Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're not pulling straight from the games. We're we're talking about what if these things were real? Of course, you could climb in a fucking tree and shoot somebody with a bow and arrow with a decidui. You who's literally a fucking about ghost. Any universe. Okay, and why aren't we? <laughs> Definitely. Well, I, Devin, I, I, Devin just wants everybody to be in the Pokemon universe. With I him. guess. Oh, no, I just want my friends in the universe you know, with. Me. I do Don't have worry. a, I do have a uh, honorable mention. Okay. Yeah. Back to the Future. Really? God, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. I don't even you know. Take the, the car anywhere, follow. anytime. You know. I guess yeah. that's true. Have you ever met Barry Allen? You don't fuck with the timeline. True. true. Also, don't ever want to be in any Disney universe or most superheroes because uh, your parents are gonna die. You know, what universe I really want to be in. Already also? Dead. I mean, that's true. Same. <laughs> Another universe I'd also like to be in. Wait, no, they're not, Caleb. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, Fast and the Furious. I was gonna say that just to make fun of you, but I decided <laughs> I didn't even want to waste my energy on those words. You know, what? I'd fuck with it. I'd want to be a. Dude, it'd be so fun. It'd be so fun. Fucking Cody would be exclusively in Tokyo Drift. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dude. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I fuck with some muscle cars, but Cody Ima- would take imagine Wow's Wow's place in Tokyo Drift. Uh, yeah, imagine, I'm imagine perfect. Cody in like a fucking 1995 Honda Civic. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Like drop to the ground. Yeah, <laughs> fucking spoke wheels. A I spoiler. Can't. I can't. <laughs> Probably. Genuinely. Um, <laughs> A muffler that's way too fucking big. Sounds like his catalytic converter is about to fucking blow <laughs> nah, up. See, I don't go that far. Yeah, no, that's where we take it. But I, I would be, like, it would be decked out. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Or I would have just a classic flat blue, like, Trans Am. 
All right, that's enough. <laughs> Overall big win for everybody's universes, including D&D. <laughs> Overall big win. Very, very addictive universes, eh, Cody? <laughs> You know what else is addictive, apparently? Yeah. Video games. I mean, it's not so much that they're addictive. I, of course, there's a lot of parents and stuff that will argue of like, oh, your game's ruining my child, blah, 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 blah. But there are definitely things that game companies do to get you coming back for more. Stuff like the loot boxes, the gotcha system all entirely that we've talked about on this podcast before. But then also like the i wouldn't say new but it's definitely been within the past like five ten ish years or so of having like the new game plus of like all right you beat the game now go beat it again with slightly harder things maybe a little bit different of a story to get a completely different ending if you want to so like stuff like that um you see a lot of these like telltale games and until dawn that are giving you choices to make you feel more immersive and like you're actually controlling the outcome of these people's lives stuff like that but you know and i don't think it's a bad thing i think that's definitely a system that works but there is definitely things that companies are you know putting more into their games to get you to come back repeatedly what about like skins and video games yeah i mean stuff like that like like me and Devin and all of us have talked about on here before of like, you used to play all these fighting games because you wanted to unlock the certain character or you wanted the certain costume for your character. So you would grind through and do everything and beat it and make sure and like do all these challenges just to get this one thing that, well, you've already beat the game. Now you just are playing it with this one thing that you got now, but you feel rewarded because you earned that. But do you feel like, video games are addicting because you have to have it or because you're putting yourself in that universe like we literally just talked about and you want to feel part of that universe like is that more of addictive because you feel like you're immersed in that world or would you say it's more of like a gambling thing i would say that depends on the person because so so for me i don't i don't necessarily have an addictive personality but I have a personality that forces me to become hyper focused on certain things. Yeah, it's it's not usually video games. A lot of times with me, it's uh, cards and like I was making shit on Photoshop. But I have a nephew who fucking cannot stop playing Fortnite. He's addicted. Like I, he he literally can't function without it. And his brother, other nephew, uh, can't get off the fucking computer. He's thirteen and. I mean, like, they're, he's addicted to playing games on the computer. Like, he will have a meltdown if he can't play them. So, yeah. as I don't, I don't necessarily have an opinion on this topic for myself, I do believe video games can be addictive for some. Yeah, and same with me. Like, I don't really feel like, I mean, I guess Hades is my most recent example. I don't feel like I have to, like, spend every waking second playing it. But when I want to go play something, that is a game that I want to go and play, especially now that, like, I'm getting later in the game and have actually beat it a couple of times and unlocking I, more things. I will say the most, the closest I think I've come to feeling addicted to a game was the first time I played Kingdom Hearts 2. Other than that, like, I've, I want I want to go, I mean, I want to come home and fucking play PlayStation, but I don't necessarily feel compelled to, like, or forced to play a certain game or anything. You see, I'm kind of more on the Devin aspect of like, I wouldn't say I'm addicted to stuff, but more of hyper focus. Like when you get into a new hobby, it's like, oh my God, I need all of this. Right. And then you like just sink your time and soul, like trying to write a D and D story, for example, it's like, all right, I talked about D and D. I'm going to go write a story and buy all these minis and stuff or, and all that stuff. I just become like, I put myself into it. And I do that with a lot of video games. Like, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it's just like the the world is so fun. So I'm just putting myself into it. I wouldn't say it's an addiction though, because I don't that, have to have it. I and think, that is why we get burnout so quickly on those things. <laughs> yeah, I have something to add. So I don't think that the addiction of video games comes in the form of video games that we play. Yeah, I think it's more so like the mobile game where. You yeah. can spend a dollar and get this. You and know, it, and when you finish something, when you finish the task because you got that, 
it's the uh, studies that have proven it that it unleashes this kind of endorphin in your brain because you accomplish something. Yep. You know, I will say, I'm not addicted like we were saying, but I may be addicted to like the thought of video games. Like I need them to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want them. I want them to be there. Without video games, my life would be very sad. Even yeah. if I don't want to play them all the time. And so it's a, they're a good thing. So. I wouldn't say I would be addicted to video games. I just said it's it'd be like an escape. Yeah. Kind of. Because, you know, real world sucks. Come home, you just want to yeah. play video games, you know. Work sucks. Not care about I know. the outside world and everything. Just want to just be focused on, you know, the game. <clears throat> and Have a good time. Uh, and it, helps, I, I, it helps put you in that universe so you can just disconnect from what's actually happening. And I think for the most part, like... Uh, us five sitting here is not really like where this becomes an issue. It's mainly like uh, think of these 10 and 12 year olds playing Roblox that will grab their mom's credit card and spend $400 and not or even Fortnite. think about it or Fortnite where they'll be like, Oh, I have to have these V bucks. I have to have the pass. And they sit there and just like go after their mom constantly until they finally get what they want. Like, it, they add something to where you're constantly feeling like, oh, I need that. All my friends are going to have that. If I don't get this, then I'm going to be laughed at. Same with, I think that's kind of why they have the prestige system and Black Ops and stuff like that, because you get the feeling like, oh, if people see that I'm not prestige for by this weekend, like they're going to laugh at me. See, my biggest thing, the only part of addiction I would say for video games I have is I'd say probably playing Call of Duty being addicted to the competition aspect yeah. of it Calm because down, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why i play call of duty so much because it's like i'm addicted to competition because it's like okay well this person's better than me well i gotta get better so i just keep playing oh so it's I not just you. a game Ooh. Yeah. i can Absolutely. tell you the point you shouldn't be happy with losing Ooh. of God. video games that i'm addicted to and Snow can attest to this, I bet. Fucking my team packs in 2K. <laughs> yeah. I don't I play 2K, not. so I can't. But your Madden but you play FIFA, FIFA Ultimate Team packs. We ain't I gonna fucking, get into that. I fucking hate Ultimate Team. I can Every one of the play. games, so. I I'm cannot made. stop buying fucking my team packs. That's I, more of a gambling aspect, though. Yeah, yeah I can't, I'm, I can't well, stop yeah. shitting on those things. Because but I that's, hate them so much. That's the thing is they put that kind of stuff into the games to get you something to be like hooked onto. They get those little barbs in there and like, yeah, but you could get pink diamond curry. Like, right. And you're like, like I haven't bought all right, any, fine. I haven't I'll fucking... bought any of my team packs yet on uh, 2K20 next gen. Okay. I, I think I only bought what I could earn, but I've also been burnt enough by that kind of shit that it was like, all right, I can't be wasting oh, my money on that. Dude, in 2K or 2K20, that was the most, that, we're on 21 right now, right? Yeah. So 2K20, I had literally Galaxy, a Galaxy Opal team. My entire team was Galaxy Opal. Gross. Why didn't you go for the, alt, like, the tournament thing then? Because it was late in the year. Fair. But, and, you know, I, I do think in some aspect, uh, having some part of addiction isn't terrible because, like, we've talked about it before, Scumpy and them, they thrive on the competition. So having that kind of stuff in the game is good. And, you know, you have to have some reason for people to come and play your game, especially when there are so many developers out there now. You can take any genre of game and have probably 50 games to choose from. So, right. like, you have to have some reason for them to choose specifically you. So I get it. I just, I don't know. And I, I don't even really think it's a problem per se. It's just kind of an interesting thought to like look at of like, man, like, are we kind of slowly being brainwashed without even thinking about it? I don't think by and large it's a problem, but I think that it can be a problem in certain instances. Like you mentioned before, the little kids going grabbing their mom's wallet, mm -hmm. taking money, or the, the dad that gets so addicted to whatever the fuck he's playing that he stops paying attention to his children. Because yeah. there are stories of shit like that happening. Yeah, going to an internet cafe and sitting on your, you're sitting on that computer for 24 hours and you don't eat. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. not good. Yeah, there's a a couple of stories about five or six years ago. Some kid died because he was on some like 24 hour binge of a video game. Didn't move. Didn't drink any. Like he drank, but he barely ate. Didn't move. Didn't go to the bathroom, and he literally died because he just sat in the same spot for 24 hours. Yep. So like, 
you know, something was going on to make that happen. But yeah, I also Warcraft. was it should have he had to level. Oh, OK. Well, and, you know, I do think that stuff like World of Warcraft is one of the big like biggest. Uh, I don't want to say like issues with it, but it's like the easiest to get lost into because especially like if we were all to go and start WoW now with fresh accounts, that'd be so fun. Dude, but it, just, think just, of how I long. Well. Oh Jesus! Well, but think of how long it would take to level. Well, no, never mind. They give you like kind of maxed out characters already, don't they? No, you no. start at level like one now. And you have Do to you? Level. Yeah. Oh my god! So all right, so yeah, it's gonna take you forever to no, catch up. Max level is fifty now. Yeah. Oh, so they redid it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last I heard, it was like eighty or something like that. It was one ten but... before. Before the pre-patch for oh, okay, that, but then when you bought there. the expansion, didn't it give you like a one ten character or something like that? You have the option to do it, yeah, or you can okay. start over. But I mean, so doing stuff like that, where like, well, you have to be online at certain times to do raids. You have to be online to do certain events. You have to be online if you want this type of gear. You have to go find friends to do this sort of thing. Like, it makes it to where you're like, hey, go live this other life away from the life that you already have, or you're never catching up. But if it's that important to you, then you probably don't have that much of a life to begin with. I mean, right. maybe. But, I mean, it could just be also somebody just, you know, wanting the, all right, I'm home from work, I don't really have shit to do, so I'm just going to do this. And then they just get lost in it, not thinking uh -huh. about, like, uh, how much it takes them away from everything. Right. Because, I mean, I will... I'll... Go ahead. I was just going to say, I've definitely done it with Call of Duties, where, like, uh genie will be like hey can we go somewhere when we get home and i'm like well no i'm gonna jump online with everybody for call of duty like we can go later or whatever maybe if we have time but i'm jumping with my friends but that's okay i don't think there's anything wrong with that because you're hanging out with your friends like it's okay to have time where you hang out with your friends right but i was making it like every day <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah me, like me and Devin used to play video games every day together and now he doesn't talk to me anymore me and Caleb oh, yeah. that's video games so funny no, he doesn't me care about me. To talk every day, and then now he doesn't text me anymore. Me the and Devin thing... used to literally play and every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 o'clock, and I still have those days off, and Devin just doesn't talk to me on those days anymore. That's because I don't get home until 5, and then you're fucking busy, <laughs> Mr. Super fucking Star. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy talking to all his Twitch friends instead of me. It's not my fault. I, I play with you every day if you wanted to, but you don't. Liar. I just never played today, and he never got on. So roll, roll the tape. Roll All the right, tape. overall big win for video games, guys. Overall yeah. big win for video games. Yes, I love video games. We it all was... love video games. Oh yeah, injected into my skin. Vidja games. Vidja. Speaking of video games, we just got uh, some new consoles coming out. A few uh, weeks ago, a couple weeks Joe ago. Joe did, didn't we? So tell us, uh... Mr. Jake. Yeah. Tell us. So last week, I predicted that my favorite game on the PS4, or the PS5, would be Godfall. This week, I have to stand corrected. Because Miles is so fucking fun, dude! <laughs> my Dude, the Miles Morales game on that fucking, like, the, I don't <clears throat> know, because I, I really like Spider-Man a lot, too, when it first came out. Yep. Yeah. But they they did things that added to it, and they kept the story long enough to where it felt like it was a fresh game. It's I wish it was longer. I haven't beaten it yet, but I know Devin's beaten it. Bro, the end. Oh but I, I wish it was longer. That's the only gripe I have with it. But everything in that game is so fluid and so... It's just done so well. You know it what really, I mean? It's amazing. I agree. And the graphics are yeah. fucking... Top tier. Oh, uh, when it's playing the story, like story mode videos. Mm -hmm. It. Oh my god, dude! It's just, it's all so good. It's. Just... How have they said if they're doing any type of DLCs or anything for it eventually? Uh, it I'm gonna. Uh, I can. I can spoil something. Oh, I don't. If if you'd no, like, no, 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 no. I'd rather. I not. mean, because I will play it. That's gonna be the first game that I buy. It, when it, I... it, ha it has nothing story related. But it's an after credit, like an after credit. Scene. Yeah, don't spoil. Oh, that. like they yeah, did. Yeah, don't. Uh, I don't want that spoiled. All right. Well, you guys got to fucking hurry up because I'm. I want to talk about it. <laughs> well, tell the world to give me a PS5. I'll, right. I'll, literally. I'll try to finish it by the end of this weekend. Send me your PS5. Overnight it. 
let me play Miles. I'll get it beat this weekend. Or if I do end up having to go to quarantine, and I'll mail it right back. Damn, yeah, I forgot you had Corona. I I don't. I haven't got the results yet, so we're nice. still waiting on that. Speaking and of- then runner up game on the PS5, which it's not even technically a PS5 launch title, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla has yes shocked me in the best way possible. Yeah, when I was watching you play it, it looked phenomenal. It's so fun. Like it's been hard. The last before Ghost of Tsushima, the last time I sat down and played like a single player story driven game was Witcher Three. I like them, but I prefer multiplayer games. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you feel about uh, Valhalla being really RPG heavy now? I love it. I love it. That's what. That's one of the things about it I love. There's always a progression for it. For right. See, when I first started playing it, I was like, okay, this is kind of like Odyssey, very RPG heavy. Mm-hmm. And then they, there were more RPG aspects to it. And I was like, I can get behind this. Like, you got a stamina bar now. You actually have to mm-hmm. eat to heal. Like, you just don't heal. You you have to, like, progress your different armors and stuff. I just remember there's this one dude that Jacob had in a raid that kept fucking him up. Yeah. It was just one fuck. dude. He'd get the through the whole village with the, and this... With the sword? Or the yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword and shield. And just every time you got to that specific guy, he's like, nah, you die today. Yeah, he kept fucking me up, dude. He was a Yale man or whatever. Yeah. What's your... Uh... What's your armor build? I don't know. I I just last night last night I finished the fucking tutorial part where it said where the title screen came on. Shit. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm very far behind. Okay. Because like when I bought the digital version, they didn't have the basic version. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was so pissed. Like they didn't have the sixty dollar version. It was the hundred dollar version or the hundred and twenty dollar version. So it's like the hundred dollar version. You get all this stuff. And for the $120 version, you get all that stuff, plus a bunch of other stuff. So I was like, well, I'll just pay $20 more. So I have, like, right. this Berserker armor, and <laughs> it's it's awesome, dude. I think it's, like, the best gear that I can find right now. I haven't found anything better than it, which I is really sad. Want, um, I like the I like the head, the, the fucking bow that I got. I have found one bow. I literally I, just found my second bow. Have you gotten? Do you have the the Ubisoft Rewards Club bow yet? No. It's like a rapid fire bow that also sets people on fire. Yeah. How did you get that? I just went to the Ubisoft uh, Rewards. I didn't like, have any like, rewards like available. It just I, the first time I went to it, it wasn't available, and then yesterday when I started playing, it was available. I'll have to check when I get off. But yeah. we talk about Assassin's Creed. Yeah. yeah. So here's the thing. Imagine Assassin's Creed doing what they're doing now, but at the start of the series. Yeah, right? How, oh, yeah. How good would an Ezio story be with um, this kind See, of... Oh, oh, I, I, wish really the, liked... oh, I wish the combat was as fluid as it is now, but I liked it not being so RPG heavy back then because I wasn't into those style of games. So I like how the Ezio trilogy was. I just wish the combat was as fluid as it is now. And right. I definitely loved the the stealth aspect of the Ezio trilogies because, like we've talked about before, like they've strayed away from that. Mm. But if they could make an Ezio trilogy as fluid as the new ones, it'd be phenomenal. Imagine Altair in. Valhalla, though. Good so boy. Altair is still my favorite assassin. I'm sorry. I think mine's Ezio, yeah. I mean, Connor, be. Connor, really? I figured you'd say Edward. I, I do fuck with Connor. Ezio, or what was the... Was it twins? From uh, Yeah, Jacob and... Yeah. Jacob and Evie. Yeah, yeah. I like those two. I didn't Evie, was, Evie was dope. I, I think it's because they just had that like teamwork aspect, and anytime you get two rogues working together, you're fucked. I enjoyed Cassandra. Cassandra. She was okay. Yeah. Um, I do like that you can pick your genders now. Yes, or you can because... be both genders. Oh, um, can you? Or, yeah, so in Valhalla, you can literally switch your character between male and female whenever you oh, want. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. But <clears throat> when, back to the Jacob and Evie. I always played Evie. 
because she was the stealth assassin where Jacob oh. was the brute. Um, in Odyssey, I picked she was hot. Plain... <laughs> in Odyssey, I picked Cassandra because I was like, oh shit, I can be a girl assassin. Because she's Valhalla. Hot. Valhalla, I almost picked the girl, but I just really wanted to be a bearded Viking man. <laughs> I picked the girl. Yeah. She's hot. <laughs> I made my lieutenant hot, though. So overall, big win for the next gen? Big yes. win for the next gen. How about, I how about get my hands on a better one. How about the rumor is that uh, Xbox is actually winning? I could see it. What I mean, it's... What? The console wars. Well... See, well, they've made more of them, so of I, course... I was getting ready to say... To people to buy more of them. But didn't Xbox also stick to what they said their console was going to be? Like, because I think I was talking about it at work. Because didn't Jacob say, like, PS... The, the PS5 was like, hey, we're backwards compatible. Psych, now we're not. It's backwards compatible. Oh, is yeah, it? It is. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought I heard, like, they were saying... It's not fully, PS... it's not fully back... Somebody le- leaked that it would be, like, backwards compatible back to PS1, but... No, See, that's Sony what I never, heard when the... Sony never said that, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I was just that was, like, conference. Yeah, yeah. No, Sony said, yeah, you'll be able to play PS4 games on it. And yeah. no problems with it. We were talking at work last night about the PS4 or the PS5 being, like, backwards compatible all the way to PS1. Then then they came out and were like, psych, that's not happening. Because we were talking about um, how nice it is for the Xbox series to be compatible with your old controllers. Because, like, right. I bought the Elite Controller 2, and I was going to be pissed if I spent $200 on a controller that I was never going to be able to use past the current gen. Right. And... uh we were talking about the PlayStation 5 and how the PS4 controller was going to work with it, but only for PS4 games. Like, you can't use oh, the really? PS4. Yeah, you can't use the PS4 controller to play PS5 games, is what I've heard. Because yeah. Well, you, like, system that they have in their controller or whatever, they want you to utilize that with their games. So you're yeah. not able to use the PS4 controller with your PS5 games. If I remember right, it's mainly only the actual like PS5 exclusive ones. So like um, Godfall and stuff like that. You can't play it because a lot of it, I guess, relies on the like haptic feedback and shit like that. Gotcha. Because I will say that that the the PS5 controller is definitely an upgrade from the PS4. I know. I'm so excited to get my hands on one. Huh? Does it feel good? Does yeah, feel good. It was great. Because it, it looked weird at first, and I was like, I, I agree. I, I hated the way it looked at first. Because the uh I like the elite controller for the switch, but it feels really bulky in my hands. And it kind of gave me that feel like the PS5 controller kind of looked like the pro controller for the switch. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna feel bulky or not. It's just no, a boomerang. It's not, yeah, it's not bulky, it's not too bad. Because so the, now... the, the, the handles are still thin. Like but... how the PS5 or PS4 was. But yeah. I don't know. It's it's definitely a thick boy. <laughs> See, I haven't I haven't even used my Xbox new controller. Like, because I had the Elite controller, so I was like, why would I use the new controller? But apparently the new controller feels great. It's got rubberized grips. It's got rubberized back. It's got rubberized triggers. It's very nice. Is the it... only thing I wish it had was the hair triggers, but obviously, like they can't put hair triggers on a brand new controller because then that just defeats the purpose of people buying the Elite controller. Right. So I, I get it, but that would be my only thing. Is like I just wish it had hair triggers on it. Because I hadn't heard any, I hadn't heard anything about the PS4 controllers. How do you, do you know if like scuff controllers would work on a PS4 or PS5? Yes, I. Well, there you go. According I had, to scuff, I had one. And I sold it. I sold it because I didn't oh. know if it would work. Well, see, that's what my biggest thing was because I had the Elite Controller One, and my nephew was like, "Yo, the Elite Controller Two is amazing. You gotta buy it. So much better than the One." And I'm like, I'm not going to go out and spend $200 on a controller when the next gen comes out in six months. I'm not going to be able to use it. He goes, no, it's backwards compatible. And I looked it up and sure shit, like that's what they were announcing. And this is the first time it's actually done that. I think that, you- I, I'm hoping that soon 
controllers will become more universal where you just kind of use whatever control you want on whatever console you want. That'd be like, cool. PC, Call of Duty's making a big strive with with uh, their competitive this year because it's all on PC now. Yep. And they were just like, yeah, just use whatever controller you want. Whatever feels the most comfortable to you, that's what the controller It's not is. a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Well, not yet. It's going to be eventually, they said. Hmm. I hate playing Call that's of Duty. Interesting. So I wonder if that puts people like Nick Marks that like exclusively uses controllers at more of an advantage then. Well, he's not a... He doesn't compete anymore. Well, I know, but I'm saying people like him. I just don't know many people that actually use, a, like, prefer to use a controller. I do. Teep? Teep. Most, most Call of Duty pros prefer to use a controller. Do they? Okay. Oh, yeah. Which is insane because I hate playing against mouse and keyboard because all you got to do is shake your mouse just a little bit and you have such a high reflex. It's mm -hmm. it's so hard to compete with people. Oh, I, yeah. I had to turn I had to turn off crossplay today on Call of Duty because I kept getting put in with PC players on mouse and keyboard oh, and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I couldn't do anything because their reflexes are so much higher than mine because by the time I could see somebody off the side of my screen, they were already doing a 360 aiming at me it's like what the hell uh, is going on just want to say i heard that for <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's also been a big uptick of people playing on 2020 sensitivity that's insane like i play on five five yeah, four or whatever the fuck four i'm pretty sure mine's at like no lower than eight all right i can but handle that I think I I, used to, depending on the game, I play around nine or ten. But okay. I used to play Halo on eight, I think. But Call of Duty, I'm usually hovering at a five. Nah, no wonder you die so much. Speaking of Call of Duty, how about they nerfed MP5? Did they no, finally they nerf didn't. it? Yes, oh, yeah, they did. I saw that. They put it out on a patch, I think, today. Well, it did. It didn't do anything because people were shooting. No, I like three hundred people were literally sniping me with an MP5 today. That's because you play hardcore. On... Yeah, but still. Also, like, I think they like just did it. Like you yeah. shouldn't be able to on satellite shoot me across the map with an MP5 when I'm missing my shots with an, with an M16 you play a with a three times scope. If you played reg regular core, you'd understand. That's all I play is core. Is uh is the war zone updated for next uh, next, month. next but month? But they but okay. uh tomorrow after this episode drops they're supposed to have uh Nuketown, Black uh Cold War uh weapons in Warzone. Yeah, so. but I can't. Okay. Okay. Can we talk about how fucking dumb the CDL is? Why what happened? Snow, did you hear about what they did to Scump? <laughs> yeah. So so Scump posted, I sure wish that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War came with a ranked play, play mo or playlist. And then David Every Bonner single year, there. everybody is complaining. Right. Every year, everybody complains because it's not there yet. And then David Vonderhaar gets on there and like basically shits on Scump. Cool. And then he gets fined by the CDL. Scump does? Scump got fined. But it's not the first time he's been fined for and it's not speaking out like that. Really? Yeah. Really, you're not allowed to do that, or you'll get. Fun. And it came out oh that God. at the at the summit that they had, yeah, it came out that when they were handed the contracts for for the CDL, when some if somebody was like, "Hey, can we take this to go to a lawyer?" CDL literally said no. Oh, couldn't take their contract to a lawyer. That's shady. Hell yeah, that's shady. not okay. I will say I agree that they should put ranked in because the skill based matchmaking is way too insane in this game. That's what I said. If, if so, my nephew is up multiplayer should just be multiplayer. If you want a skill based matchmaking mode, put it in competitive. Right. So my nephew called me today and he was asking me just bullshit, and he's like, "Hey, like how's Call of Duty?" And I had my two complaints, but nothing like crazy and he's like i heard the skill based matchmaking is terrible i was like it it can be so apparently if you have a 1.5 kd you're considered a pro oof oof and your 
put in with like basically pro league players. Let's and go. If you have a one anything of between like a one two five or a one one point two to a one five, you're considered like a high level player and you get put in all these sweat matches which is where I'm at. I have like a one, two, eight KD. So I'm getting put in with all these super tryhards when I don't want to try hard all the time. Sometimes I just want to get on and have some fun. But when you literally have just people fun on a video around, game, what are you talking about? <laughs> just jumping around corners, aiming at you and just ready to go. It's just like, dude, like I can't do anything. Like I, just because I play domination and stuff like that. And I have high pointage doesn't make me good. Also, I think if you're saying you want to have fun, but you're also playing hardcore, that makes it much harder to have fun. See, I have more fun on hardcore than I do core because I can actually kill people. Whereas core is like, I don't like dumping a whole round into somebody and just getting hit markers the entire time. But at least in core, you have a chance of killing somebody. Right. And the trade-off of hardcore is, yes, you can actually kill people. Also, someone can shoot a pistol from 42 miles away and dome you in the forehead. Like, yeah, if I'm like, getting shot first, I have a chance to turn around. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to kill him. Right. See, but why is that? Why is that should be possible? That shouldn't be possible. Because if you're getting Duty shot in the back, you shouldn't have time to turn around and then still kill that player. Because Call well, of Duty is an arcade shooter, not a simulation. Exactly. Like, Call of Duty is paintball, not guns. This like isn't Tarkov. Just... But I, I, I get what you're saying. I found those tweets from Scump that I was looking for that I wanted to, that I wanted to read you guys. Before you read that, what Caleb is trying to say is <clears throat> that I'm a professional Call of Duty player, so any CDL team that wants to <laughs> sign me, I am a free agent for the 2021 20, season. If anyone wants to sponsor That's me by right. getting me a PS5 and the game. So Scump said, I haven't spoken of this publicly yet, publicly really, but I was fined for playing Raid Shadow Legends during a sponsored stream. It was during the off season as well as as well, which makes it worse. My channels are my channels. I should be able to do what I please, but apparently I can't. And then he follows up with the CDL also made us sign player contract in front of them without allowing us to run it by our lawyers at the player summit. It was a sign it now or you can't play at Minnesota type of exchange. I, I'm probably going to get fined for this too, but just letting you guys know. And that shit's so scummy. Yeah. The CDL ever since I heard about the CDL, I didn't like it. Yeah. Well, like, what kind of paid athlete is going to be like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll just go sign this blindly. I'm not going to actually look into anything you're saying I can and cannot do. Well, the Call of Duty players, I guess, because they did it. I guess, but like... 59 fuck. out of 60 people did it. I don't know, man. There's got to be some other something. Bring back the CWL. Like, for Literally, just bring back the CWL, because that was what I loved. Like, that that the was World like, League? Was best. Yeah. You okay. have like tons of like no name teams that has a chance yeah. at like Checking actually the winning. World? Yeah, just bring back MLG. Yeah, that's that's what CWL is. Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking do that then. Like, why did they ever? I don't know. CD because CD Call of Duty found a re found a way to make money. Do you know how much yeah. it costs for a for a lead, or for a franchise to become a franchise in Call of Duty now, Cody? Cody, as much as a subway. Millions, yeah, more than a subway. That's why the uh, 100 Thieves couldn't uh, make a Call of Duty team at first yep. because they didn't want to spend it. Money. That's wild. Can you like, I get like being a pro Call of Duty player would be cool as hell, but like, if you basically got to sell your entire person to do so, I don't know. So now they have well, like the amateurs, so it's fucking, so. it's not the players that are paying these ridiculous fees it's the it's team teams owners. yeah yeah like and the people thieves, for example most of the people don't even know mortgage. yeah most of the owners don't even know what they're doing yeah so it's like have anything to do with call of duty mm -hmm. the only or, people like that i can that i know have that can that i would trust to run a call of duty team is hex nade and hastro the rest of them fuck no hmm Man, could you imagine just randomly going in on some type of like professional video game team and making millions not realizing what you got into? Of course. Like, I mean, I, I tell the story uh, not a lot, but when my grandma does a lot of investing and her investor came to her with Google before it like started blowing up and was like, technology is something that's going to be the thing. It's a computer thing. I trust you. It's like, trust me, it's 
it's going to get big. And she's like, I don't know a damn thing about computers. I'm not doing it. Just uh, don't even worry about it. And then every now and then, every time we see him, he'll be like, so remember that Google thing? And she'll shut up. <laughs> but she also has an investment in like a lot of Florida properties. So, I mean, she's still doing fine. She's doing like, fine. Like any grandmothers would. Right. But yeah. Mine he, would, but they're both dead. Really, he literally came to her with Google and she was like, I don't know anything about computers. Just don't worry, don't worry about it. Grandma, why? Just imagine missing out on that kind of money. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> I think when he came to her, it was like, I think he said it was only like a dollar fifty a stock or something like that. Something like ridiculously low. I'll take a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I was like, Grandma, if you would have got ten of those, you'd be a millionaire right now. Jesus. Overall, big loss for the big CDL. Win. I was about to say, big yeah. loss for Granny. Yeah. And big loss for Granny. Yeah, she's doing all right. She just turned 93 two weeks ago. Happy birthday, Granny. God bless her. Happy fucking birthday, Grandma. We love you, baby. Devin is awake, finally, so let's talk about what you want to talk about. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, boys, I've been here. I've, I've just been listening. I've been learning. I've been not caring, but I've been listening. And learning. <laughs> Unless yeah, you don't I'm want to talk about in. anything, then that's fine. No, 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 no. I, I would like to know some. I, I, I want to go out of our way to learn some controversial game opinions. Uh, so I would like to start with Cody and or Caleb. Oh, uh, it's a good thing I don't have any. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just tell us some of your opinions. Uh, That's what, what I'm going to say. Here's the thing. I don't know they're controversial until I'm like, hey, hold on. Like this. You're like, what the fuck? Let's rewind it here. He said that 2K improves every year so <laughs> okay like sure i will say that for the most part between the years it is a copy and paste but okay so you just change your mind now though no 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 because it. they do make improvements like the, the storyline has been a lot better the past Fucking couple of years big disagree the <laughs> storyline story you sports you... game the storyline you get fucking drafted and it's over they're like oh, it's okay. drafted over if you choose to go that route, you can make it longer. Listen, what? Listen, what? hear me out here. Just hear me out. NBA 2K has not been a good game since 2016. You stop it. That it was hasn't. the last good NBA uh, 2K. You next last gen, one I played. Next gen's fun. Next gen's fun. But 2K20 or 2K17 was okay. 2K18 was fucking dog ass. 2K19, fucking dog ass. 2K20. <clears throat> fucking dog ass. <laughs> and 2K21 current gen, uh, uh, fucking dog ass. <laughs> uh, uh. Nah. What? Nah. What? I disagree. Anyway. What? All right. Uh, so that's the number I'll one. Say the, I'll they say that they've tried to improve. improve. They've tried to improve the badges and how they work. The gameplay uh, is literally the fucking same. No, it's not. The creative play, like how you build your character is completely different. That's true. I That's said, big truth. Uh, gameplay is what I said. Oh, uh, well, it's not exactly the same. Like some of the badges do work a little bit differently. They've been trying to re rework those for the past, you know, 32 years. But like small things do slightly improve. I'll say the animations are still shit. Absolutely. Like I still hate getting trapped in the paint when I'm trying to cut through a lane and it's like, oh, offensive violation. Like, okay, cool. Thanks. That's what I wanted. <laughs> cool i'll just go fuck myself and go down a grade that's great but i don't know i feel like they do try and make some improvements like they've tried to make the neighborhood better and better every year dude I what are you talking about 2k19 yeah. and 20 had the exact same neighborhood yeah. no uh, i thought 19 I had 2K18, where you uh, 2k18 and 2k19 sorry oh okay yeah yeah that probably yeah literally the exact same neighborhood 20 wasn't any fucking different either yeah it was Completely different. Twenty had a beat. Uh, was at a beach. Yep. Well, no, twenty one's at the beach. Twenty one's at the beach. So yeah, twenty wasn't different either. Yeah, no, I was twenty was say, different. Bro. Twenty was not different. Twenty the was the exact same. The only difference between twenty and nineteen was that they rotated the fucking buildings around. Well, no, they also added like the cages and stuff like that. That, that shit was, was no that different. Was, that was there. Mm, not, was. not nineteen. Yes, it I, was. I promise you, it was no different because I only I played was, uh, nineteen and twenty, and they were not different. Nineteen and twenty had this. You haven't played twenty yet, have you? Yes, 20. I played twenty. 
I haven't played 21. I so played 19, 19 and 20. 19 and 20 are the same. 19 and 20 are the same neighborhood. 18 is where they switch. Uh, 18 to 19 is where they switch the neighborhood up. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I don't know. They try and do 19 and 20. Didn't they add where you have like the events and shit like that though? No. Are you sure? Because I don't remember like dodgeball and gold rush or shit like that. Didn't you tell me you didn't play online? I like, did some of the events and stuff, but I never actually like went to the playground. That's where all like, the events happened. Well, I know, but like I did some of those, but I never went to just go. So you wouldn't know if they were having events if you didn't work. What? I mean, it still pops up. Cody, what yeah, the fuck, they, man? They had, they had events. They had events, I promise. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I just didn't see them. I don't know. I feel like they're trying to do what they can to improve. I feel like... It's I not, just, it's not I, like it's, Madden where it's literally the same fucking game. Madden increases, adds new fucking gameplay mechanics, at least. Man, yeah, Madden adds new game modes and shit. I mean, I'm not going to say Madden's okay, a good game. <clears throat> I'm not saying Madden's a good game, but things change in Madden every year. <laughs> Some, something I, changes. I play, not what I want to change, but something. I, I feel like every sports game is kind of in the same boat for me, including like WWE and UFC and any any sport simulation quote. Um, they just caught they they take a, they have a formula that they know will get people to buy it, and they're gonna keep copying and pasting it until people stop buying it. I mean, yeah, basically. So that's why I've never been a fan of sports games because it's like because you're not athletic. Oh, well, that I don't care about sports anyway. But it's just like it's literally the same thing. <laughs> like just maybe an updated roster. Hilarious Some teams thing. are better than the next or the past years or whatever. Because like my nephew's a huge guy for Madden. I'm like you're literally just playing the same game every year. It, oh no, there's updated mechanics. It, no, it, it's bro. still Listen. it's still football. Like no, they're still I'm, playing the exact Madden's... same game. Madden's franchise mode has been the same for a few years now. So I'm um, same with FIFA until this one. Yeah, I'm hoping when new Madden comes out on the fourth of December. So not even new, just the next gen version. So I'm hoping something something I feel happens. like something's gonna change on it. I, I mean, mean I hope so, since it wasn't a launch. Yeah. It's it's entirely possible that I just have blinders on because 2K is the one game that I buy every single year without fail since 2K10. I'm sorry. I buy Not. 2K every year. I buy Call of Duty every year. I don't put blinders. I don't on buy. Game. I don't buy Call of Duty every year. I tell. I talk shit because I care about the fucking games. And you that's true. It. There are definitely things that needed to change. Like I still don't really like the jump shot system. What? I don't know. There's yeah, something about it always throws me off. From, from the last game to this game. But they like I, basically force you to shoot with a shot stick. Oh, yeah, that's what yeah. I shoot with anyway. And I don't like that. I fuck with that. Oh, see, I do. So I'm cool with it. But, you know, I, I, there are definitely things that they can change. The animations being the biggest of my gripes just because it actually like throws games for me or makes me not do as well as I'd want. But I don't know. You know I, I agree with that. They should fix the animations. Yeah. Is it still not much better on next gen? I, don't, I haven't fucking played. Oh, okay. I've Cause... played enough to get out of Rookieville. Gotcha. Because <laughs> that's so definitely it. my biggest gripe. Cody's going to be stuck in Rookieville for fucking three years. Sure. All is. right. All right. Caleb. <laughs> give me, yeah. give me, <laughs> give me one of yours, buddy. What? I want to, I want to know one of your controversial video game opinions. I don't have any. Oh, oh fuck on, Cody. Cody. Now, now, I, now I knew. <laughs> now I know you have one. <laughs> Something. Okay. Well, all right. Just give me some opinions. <laughs> What's game. an unpopular what? opinion that you have yeah. that nobody else has? Opinion, actually. Yeah. What's your opinion? <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> what are you trying to get out of me, Devin? Ask your question. I did. What fucking what's something controversial about a video game? The way you feel about it that nobody else feels. Cody fucking thinks I don't even know what the fuck he said. I forgot. Two K is amazing. Two <laughs> K changes I, every year. Two K is a new game every day. I still love Two K. <laughs> so Fallout seventy six was not a bad game. It was better than Fallout four. A controversial statement. I'm with you there. Fuck mm. Fallout. Fallout's amazing. What are you talking about? Uh, That's a uh, controversial uh, opinion right there, Devin. All right, well, that's not that's opinion. that's not what I was going to talk about. So we're going to skip past that because I don't care about Fallout. <laughs> Fallout Four. How do you love Skyrim but hate Fallout? 
Oh, it looks fucking stupid. It's the same thing <laughs> as Skyrim. No, it's not. Yes, it, it's the same it's thing. It's the literal it's same the thing, thing, just different time frames. Literally. <laughs> you don't have you know, nothing controversial. Fucking you, Rage isn't the best game of all time. Who said Rage? Rage! Is the best game <laughs> Caleb. Caleb, what's your favorite game you of all time? You told me that. My favorite game of all time? Yeah. Probably. Halo 2 or we're not friends. <laughs> Halo 2 had the best multiplayer of all time. Or, oh my God. well, maybe Modern Warfare 2, <laughs> but. Like, overall. Modern Warfare 2 had the best online ever. Okay, I'm it, muting. Did have some good online, I can't lie. What are you talking about? It's what drove me into online gaming. Just I continue. Agree. I agree. If you that. couldn't survive a Modern Warfare 2 lobby, you're not a man. Continue. You are not a man. What about the girls that played? You piece of shit. No, nope, they were men. men if they could keep in their lobbies. All right, Caleb's now died. Jacob, what's your controversial video game opinion? I don't have one. Oh my I, fucking god! You know that? God. No. Why? I, I'm, I'm, I'm a for no. I apparently muted myself. My bad. That's the thing, I, though. Is like because you have an opinion doesn't mean it's controversial. Like, yes, but okay. An unpopular opinion means controversial is opinion. It an Everybody, opinion, is it an unpopular opinion to you or all around? Uh, yeah, that's interchangeable. It's up for, for, for up us for, to decide. For right in, now, in general. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, if you want it to be something I'm gonna find unpopular or uncool or unpleasant, and then whatever. We're here for discussion, friends. Minecraft? My unpopular opinion. Fuck is Minecraft. <laughs> it, Minecraft is one of the most revolutionary games of all time. Fucking Fuck why Minecraft. and how? I why I can how? get behind that. Yeah, it, I can too. One honestly, of the first games that had the the whole random random spawn wilderness type deal, where the any every world you start is different. You will never start the same world twice. Oh my god! What to cut off my own dick? Also, you can literally build whatever you want. And you can build whatever you want, and you can do literally whatever you want. There is there's a story, but it's then, so loose that you don't fucking have to Fucking go, go play Fallout, then. You can do all that stuff there. No, you can't. Fuck ever. Go play Fortnite. Oh, my God. You wanted an unpopular opinion, Devin, but it's not unpopular because most of the fucking world agrees with me. It's just unpopular to you, bud. It's a stupid opinion. <laughs> My <laughs> unpopular opinion would probably be Pokemon should have stayed a 2D game. Mm, also very... Um, what? Really? You think so? I don't care for the 3D aspect of Pokemon. Okay, so then let me ask you this. Do you feel the same about Zelda? I was never a fan of Zelda. Okay, so... first off, I uh, fuck the 2D Zelda. Zelda hasn't been 2D. For... Zelda hasn't been 2D you don't like the 2D Zelda? Fuck no, I don't like the 2D Zeldas. Really? Well, not only that, but Zelda hasn't been 2D, 2D in fucking decades. Yeah, but like the, the yeah, 3DS well, one. Nobody's going to have those fucking opinions except 45-year-old men. And well, Cody. That, that's and not Cody. true. Because like when they read that they did the, uh, what God, what is the Link Between Worlds? Was that the one? The most recent on the... one that came out? The no 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 the 3ds one, where you could turn into a painting and all that shit. I know what you're talking about. I know like, what you're that one. They kind of went back to the 2D style, but made it 3D art, and I felt like that's one of the best Zeldas that they've put out in a long time, other than so, Breath of the Wild. So a they haven't game. Put, they haven't put out many in a long time. I right, but I mean when you're putting all of them in a line, like I would say that Link Between Worlds is up there with Wind Waker for me. I I would put them. I don't know about Link Between Worlds. I didn't play that. But if we're talking about the old ones, they're all at the bottom. Really? Really? You don't like either of the original two? No, I don't. I like okay. Ocarina of Time. I love Ocarina of Time. That's an old one. My no, boss, he's not talking, what we're Zelda talking Zelda about. Jacob. Oh, okay. We're talking about like, Link to the Past. Because that game came out like 30 years ago. So. Super Nintendo, the Super Nintendo shit. Gotcha. For now, uh, Ocarina of Time came out like 20 years ago. Yeah. Came out in the 90s, dude. Which about 20 years uh, ago. 20 plus years ago, yeah. 20 years ago, yes. Not now 30. I'm it up. It's 2020. 1998, 20. so 22 years ago. 
Okay, so closer to 20 than 30. Coming up on 30, Devin. If we're rounding. Oh, no. (laughs) I still got a while for that. Not a while. I got like six months. Fucking Christ. (laughs) Oh, my fucking God. If you're rounding, it's still 20. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm just saying it was more than 20. Okay. (laughs) Whatever. Ocarina of Time, cool. Fucking Zelda 1 and 2, uncool. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I tried to play them on the on the Switch with the fucking Nintendo Online, mm-hmm. and I played for about five minutes and said, "Fuck this, this is boring." <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, it's a different version of it. No, it's yeah, just boring, it's different, and not fun. Yeah, <laughs> I liked it. I don't know how, how the fuck you're they a forty-five year old man, Cody. How, how the I fuck they have enough money to make uh, Ocarina of Time? I don't know. I'm glad, but I don't know. Boring. Well, because for the time, it was still groundbreaking. I kind of want to go back and play Final Fantasy 1 to see how they got to the fucking Final Fantasy Well, and I was going to say, you got to think at that time, Final Fantasy wasn't in America. True. It wasn't until what? Final Fantasy was... Was 7 the first one in America? No. I don't think so. Nah, bro. 6 definitely came out. Was it 6? Okay, I couldn't remember if it was 6 or 7. But I actually like, think it was 5. I don't know, though. 5? Okay. I'd, I've never played any of the older ones. Like, 7 and 8. 7 is where I started. But, I mean, so, at the time, like, those the Zelda games were groundbreaking because there was no such thing as a dungeon crawler also, before. Final Fantasy 1 did come out in, P- in, in America. On hmm. NES. Did it? So just said. Did not know that. Um, yeah, nineteen ninety, they came out in America. The first three did. Yep. Oh wow. Okay. Well, then I retract my statement. I did not know that. I didn't think that it was over here until six or seven. Nope. Came out in eighty-seven in Japan, ninety over here. Wow. Yep. Okay. Well, then never mind. But still, it was groundbreaking. Snow, do you have any controversial opinions about video games? No. Other. Just okay, none of us do. All right. I don't know if it's controversial, but I would say it's starting to get to the point of I feel like most indie games are starting to get more popular than the AAA titles. It's because everybody's tired of the copy and paste bullshit anymore. Yeah. I mean, but I'm tired of indie games all being fucking platformers or 2D graphics. They're not, you know, they're not. There's all kinds of fucking Jacob playing the 100% orange juice last night. Okay, but like that's what I mean. That fucking game. They're weird. they're all I don't I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but they're I like I get what you're saying. They all have a certain vibe to it. They're all they're all like that. Fair. <laughs> but that's also not true. If you look at like let them die. Or let it die or whatever. Yeah. That Never that, played it. I mean I did. I played, did. I played it for a little bit. Or, you know, like games like Hades or Yeah, games like Hades are exactly what I'm talking about. Or even Fall Guys. Among Us. Among Us is also a game I'm talking like Fall Guys is a little different, but like they all have the same look and feel. Like there's no hmm. you know. But you I mean, know I, I, they I, don't it, have the big budget that most companies do, right. so you got to stick to cheap <clears throat> animations and graphics. No, I get that. I do. And I I get but, where Devin's coming from because they all do have it feels like they're made poorly. Everybody's yeah. round. Everybody's got the same shape. Like right. Fall Guys and Among Us have the same character model in a sense. Literally the same thing. They do. <laughs> like they're literally the exact same shape. Yeah. But I mean, you well, look at something like Hades and everything in there is different. Well, you look at something, not necessarily Hades, but you look at something like, uh, fuck, what's that called? Fuck, I forget what it's called now. Horizon Zero Dawn. Dawn. Zero Dawn Zero. or whatever. Or no, that's not. I'm talking about the, the exploratory game. I don't know what that Outer, Outer Worlds? No, by Hello Games. Oh. Here we go. I get to listen to a charging battery every five seconds for the next hour. No Man's Sky, sorry. Oh, oh yeah. That game, while it when it released, it was kind of dog-ass. I won't disagree. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. No, but they, they even knew it was. Up until this point, up until now, when when No Man's Sky released, it was a five person team, and the like graphically, it's gorgeous, but it, it's almost they 
sacrificed gameplay for graphics so that they could release it when they said they were going to release it, or if they waited two years and yep. just finished everything, it would have been a great game at launch, and they would probably would have became a AAA company. Yep. Was Apex a indie game? No, nah, Apex, no. Apex is made EA. by the people that made a. Is it made by EA? I thought it was made by EA. So EA, no, EA, but is... EA, but it's under uh, Respawn. Respawn, who made Titanfall. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. I was to say I don't think they were, but with that uh, new, the new free to play battle royale, that's got to be an indie break. game, right? No. Break. Yeah, that one. That game's pretty fun. Yeah, I, I I haven't played it in a while, but when I did play it, it was pretty fun. Yeah, I don't know who makes it. Oh. No, I think I think High Res made that dude. Did they? I think so. Looking it up. I just I'm not behind. Indie games are becoming better than like AAA games. Oh nope, it's a uh, proletariat. Whatever the fuck that is. I'm not behind the fact that I'm not behind saying that they're getting better than AAA games. But I am noticing the more I play on my PC, the more apt I am to trying out indie games and enjoying them more. Is it because the smaller streamers are can only get popular with indie games? Probably. I mean, I think that's part of it. They, they, you can find that niche market and be like the person that started Among Us or some right. shit like that. But I do also think a lot of indie developers have so much more freedom that if they get a bunch of feedback and they're like, man, I wish this game would do this. Well, they just fucking do it. Whereas yeah. like Call of Duty, we can be asking for 30, the next 15 years, man, I really wish they would take out skill-based matchmaking, but someone's in their pocket going, nah, bitch, you keep that there. And they're going to. Yep. I agree. But that's why I said like people are gravitating more towards indie games because it's not the same copy and paste. Yeah. But every see- year. Every year and, you get a new Call of Duty. Every year you get a new Assassin's Creed. Every year you get a new Madden. Every year you get a new sports game. Like every well, year you depend on getting the same twelve games. Whereas, like, oh hey, there's this new game, Godfall. Everybody's gonna flock to that because it's something new that no one's ever heard of before. Right. Shit, so, like a Cuphead. I mean, Cuphead took the I, world by fucking <clears throat> storm. I get it, but I don't. Cuphead's another game like I was talking about. Like, all those games that are just like that. They all just come out together. I mean, I'm not saying Cuphead's not great, but it's like that. The more kind of like... Well, you gotta think. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Sorry, I don't mean to cut anybody off. But The Witcher is an independent... Was up until The Witcher 3 came out, basically. CD Projekt Red was an independent developer. Yeah, and okay, that's, that's what I think they should gravitate more towards instead of the shit like Hades and Cuphead and Well you gotta start at Hades and work your way Hollow up. Knight. I mean, look, I get that, sure. But when everybody one. when every fucking indie company is coming out with a game that's like not the same, but pretty fucking similar, it's just it gets boring to look at for me and then I just like I don't care. That's fair. So do you not really care about stuff like like Undertale and shit like that? Not not at all. One hundred percent don't. Okay. Well, we found Devin's bad opinion. Yep. Andy sure. games are trash. <laughs> sure. I, I was going to talk about how fuck, you know, fuck Animal Crossing, but this is fine what? too. Animal Crossing. Devin. Ooh. I mean, I, I'm in the same boat as Devin. Fuck Animal Devin Crossing. And, okay, Caleb, I never cared about your opinion anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Caleb. It's getting fucking heated in here tonight, boys. <laughs> Animal Crossing's fucking stupid. You right? have, have you played it? Oh, I've tried. Which one? I don't fucking know. Which oh, one? okay. Well, then you didn't try. No, it matters. Because if you try and play, like, uh, I think it was uh, City Folk or some shit like that, that shit's trash. But you have to give it, like, 20 hours before you've actually tried Animal Crossing. It's just, it's The Sims, but also dumb. Oh, like The Sims are also dumb. No, it is nothing like The Sims. Oh, really oh, hard. yeah. What the fuck? How is it not? You have to fucking get up and go to work. And no, you don't. Tend to your don't. island. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> then, then what the fuck do you do in the game? Fucking farm? No, you fish. You can grow trees if you wish. You <laughs> Farm? Are you a fucking, fucking poet? Farm? You can fish. You can grow a tree if you wish. <laughs> okay, well, it wasn't even like supposed to be that way but you can climb you can make slime like 
You Shut probably up. can't. But no, you can collect. You can hang a wind chime. You <laughs> upgrade your house. Definitely you, can't hang a wind chime. You can, yeah. You can you, do that in The Sims. And you certain know, one, playing The Sims. I was like, I'm going to trade one, my. If you're the mayor. I, I need an apple. I go to this person's island because I have a pineapple. That's fucking. That, uh, that, okay, first of all, we don't say that. <laughs> Second of all, that that is something that only the Switch version did, and that's because they wanted people to use friend codes. So, so people dumb. could hang out with each other. How yeah. dare people want to hang out with each other on a game they fucking enjoy? Right. I'm having, I'm and, having and, a COVID and, oh, party oh, on, on my island. On, Everyone's invited. On. I'm not saying I'm not saying fuck those people that play it and how dare them. I'm just did. saying that game's fucking stupid. <laughs> not though. Like, we need to get Matt Rich on here. Literally, it is one of the most relaxing games you can ever play. It really is. You're not, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very calm, cool, collected. You know, you you do stuff on your island, and then you go about your day. You literally don't have to do anything. That exactly. You just turn the fucking game on, and <laughs> you're done. If you really want to, if that's what you find relaxing, yes. Or you can go and fish and go into fishing tournaments or do the events. You know or... what you can fish in? You can fish in, like, every game that comes out now. Well, I say that because that's the other... main way to make money, is to r- repeatedly go fishing. But You, you can, can fish in fucking RuneScape. And RuneScape's great, though. I'm it's not saying it's not. You can fish in Assassin's I'm, Creed saying... Valhalla. You can fish in fucking right. Final Fantasy 15. Just you can fish you in can Fortnite. Fish, and you should. Animal Crossing gives you a reason to fish. Exactly. You fish you because you want to, to fish get money. In fucking Final Fantasy. What's your yeah, reason? That's... What the fuck you mean? What's the reason? You get you fish. Said you said there's a reason. What's the you reason? You eat in Final Fantasy. That's one of the things you're supposed to do. You eat to fish. Is there another way? <laughs> you have a guy in your a... party exclusively who cooks. Is there another way to, way to eat? <laughs> no. There's oh. no other way to eat. Only fish? <laughs> no. You're lying well, to me, Devin. Only fish. Because I've played Final Fantasy 15. God, it sucks to fucking suck. <laughs> oh my god. Animal Devin Crossing I... is a piece ever, of shit. Y'all ever seen that video of the dude screaming about fucking, uh, screaming about fucking Wizard of Oz or whatever? Yes. Fuck That's the Wizard of Oz too. I don't give a fuck. No, I don't. I remember what you're talking about, but he, he's screaming about the princesses or whatever. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. like, "Grow up, dude." Yeah, yeah. That's what fucking I feel like right up. now. Fucking turn Animal Crossing off, you piece of fucking trash, dude. <laughs> Animal Crossing is an escape for like so oh, no. many people. <laughs> about to play oh, it after God. this. And I think I we're don't. out of time, boys. That is a good episode. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. What a what a we way to pre- we appreciate every every listen, every view that we get. Yeah, and sorry for all of you fans of Animal Crossing because apparently you have done pissed off Devin and Caleb somehow. Then, no, you didn't piss me off. <laughs> Animal Crossing just sucks. That's you it. and Caleb both I, yelled into the microphone. <laughs> because your opinions pissed me off. <laughs> I thought you just said you were mad. I'm not. Oh, okay. Cody, I'm with you on this one all the way, buddy. Thank every you. every video game franchise should have a beat 'em up. Carry and even on. Snow is with me on this one. So when your best friend is against you, you know you've done something <laughs> fucking wrong. Snow can do no wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who? What? What? Snow can do no wrong. I never said anything that Animal Crossing was good. I just thought it was very relaxing to See? play. Yeah, I told you. Snow Snow doesn't do anything wrong. Caleb. Yes. Remember when me and you drove to Devin's house? Our time to get to Devin's house to skateboard. And the first thing he said when he saw both of us was, I wish Snow was here. Yep. <laughs> Literally drove to Indiana to hang out. And the first thing he says is, man, I miss Snow. I yeah. caught COVID. I caught right. COVID to go out to eat with you. <laughs> Snow doesn't make an attempt and or effort to ever go to Indiana to see his friends. And Why would I, I want to go out in I this COVID infested world? I wish Snow was here. <laughs> I was very glad you were here, though. It's, I just, it was a, that was a wild day. <laughs> that was a wild day. We were supposed to skateboard and then end up, you know, and then, uh, it was then 200 degrees middle. outside. <laughs> yeah. Then, then Caleb didn't want to skate anymore once I couldn't. And well, then Caleb not want to do something after then, playing. <laughs> then we could go back outside and play. And Caleb was like, no, it's too hot. Let's and go then, eat so I can leave. And I said, you were going to leave as soon as you're done eating. He said, I hope not. And then as soon as he was done eating, <laughs> I literally left. fucking. Cameron fell asleep with chicken fingers in his nose and mouth and ass. And then, I, 
Then I came over and we watched fucking Kenny Omega versus Ibushi for fucking three hours. Okada. Okada versus Ibushi. Okada versus Omega. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Overall, our friendships are great, right? Right. I, lo- I love Devin, snow. We are the we are <laughs> second fiddle to snow for Devin. Oh, Jesus. All right, so... Well, right. if, you didn't, we, if you didn't treat me like a fucking surf, like a king and his surf, then you'd be up on my list, too. You know, if... if but I'm treated like the, the trash I, in the sewers of the London. the way I treat you is treated like a surf, then those surfs had a pretty fucking good life, because I didn't see no kings driving an hour and a half to go see the surfs. And I got lost. How else would I serve you? <laughs> you would have to come to me, bud. I'm, I mean, too, I'm a poor knave. How am I supposed to get to you? I drive are, a plow. Are you? <laughs> didn't you you're making Caleb money? I mean, that's true. You did say that, like, not even an hour ago. That has nothing to do with this conversation. <laughs> Snow's my best friend. I haven't seen him in person in over a year. <sighs> so I, Dev- I think I have friends. Devin's but... best friend, but I'm De- I, Devin's my best friend. But he I, wish I, I wish anybody was my friend. Same. I love Cody. Me and Cody are the same. I do gotta talk to you. I'm both birds. All right, turn this shit off. Snow, let's go. I'm trying, but you guys keep... Going on a tangent. We never do that. All right, we enjoy everybody coming along for the ride, the bumpy ride that is the one podcast to eventually rule them all. Comes out every Monday. Except for do last you, Monday. Do you guys want to? Yeah, well, that was Brad. Do you guys want to plug yourselves, or we can just get out of here? Uh, no. Follow me on Twitter at sexydevb. Twitch dot com slash friendlyplaysx. Animal Crossing fucking sucks. And you can find oh, me on Supernatural. You can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and maybe Twitch at the B Snow. Friendly plays and or friendly plays X for me. Y'all know uh, uh, Alex Trebek. <laughs> Gingerbeard Man Gamer on pretty much everything. Caleb SXC on Twitter. Maybe I'll be on Snow Stream someday. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hail, Bye. Hail Biden. A, have a beautiful time.